The government crisis in Ukraine showed up on the front pages of German newspapers this week. Frankfurt Allgemeine Zeitung published an interview with Ukraine's Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk, where he strongly criticizes the country's President Petro Poroshenko. This is the first time for German audience to see such strong criticism toward Poroshenko by Arseniy Yatsenyuk. The Prime Minister said the biggest fraction of the Ukrainian parliament, BPP, never wanted reforms. Even opposition did not criticize us so much as our coalition partners did. His fraction, BPP, didn't want reforms. They have always orientated themselves by the polls. We need only a year or two until the economy will recover and we will see first results. German government calls on Ukraine to continue reforms, to fight against corruption and to undertake steps for political implementation of the Minsk agreement. Uh, the, the Russian government uh, wants uh, to have uh, Ukraine as a, as a failed state. Um, so I think it's very important uh, to renew support for, for Ukraine financially, politically, in combination with a clear conditionality what the European Union is expecting in terms of fighting corruption, liberalization of the, uh, the economy, uh, reform of public administration, independent judiciary. These are very important mild steps. Not to dramatize the situation in Ukraine is crucial, according to Sergei Leschenko, the young deputy of the Ukrainian parliament who talked to members of German Bundestag. Leschenko says even early parliamentary elections would not destabilize Ukraine. I, I think it's very important not to, not to dramatize first and to protect values, protect ideas instead of protection names. Because these mistakes was 10 years ago when the West was uh, in favor of Yushinka, then Yushinka uh, did not deliver. Then West was back in Timoshenko. Timoshenko was not successful, then she was in prison, then she was pro under protection of West, then she was released, and then now she is just ignoring the messages from the West. And it's another example that if you make uh, your choice on individuals instead of values, you, you will ever lose because politicians play in the game in their interest. But institutions, values, it will exist even after the resignation of some politicians. I'm Natalia Fibrik from Berlin, Germany, for Ukraine Today.